Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. I can't be with you today, so I made this video for you instead to give you some sense of where I'm coming from. Our investigation begins at the scale of the city, the urban scale. The student will distill a problem initiated by their unique understanding of the chosen site by asking increasingly pertinent questions to arrive at a concise and detailed program, the catalyst for an imminent architectural solution. Here, for example, is a site plan for, from 2013 for the city of Pripyat, adjacent to Chernobyl, that has been laid out specifically in response to lines of radiation exposure. This section reflects the architectural solution for the same problem, where a trench is cut in the ground, perpendicular to lines of exposure, the lower section inhabited, the upper section acting as radiation buffer. So we'll look at real cities with real problems to propose real architectural solutions. We'll emphasize drawing as analytical tool from the early stages of the semester. You'll choose from a number of available urban sites and immediately begin to draw various aspects of the site. We'll be experimenting with hybrid drawings, drawings that blur the distinction between the two-dimensional architectural drawing and the three-dimensional model to find new ways of representing those things which we can't see and elucidating those things which we can see. Some of the questions we'll address during the course of the year. How do we respond to rapid urbanization and the inexorable growth of our urban centers? Are there any viable strategies for contemporary city building? This shows the new Telefarik in Medellin, credited with fostering urban renewal while it links neighborhoods of vastly different socioeconomic means, a nice solution to a dicey problem. Can any single building do anything more than check the growth of chaos? How do we contest the hegemony of power and big money? How do we change the public perception of public space, demilitarize, give public space back to the people, to go from this to this? What does public architecture in the contemporary city look like? To what forces must it respond? We look forward to investigating these urgent issues with you and on finding concise architectural solutions to the urban explosion. Thank you.